Hi, Ryan. I'm going to put my... I'm going to put these glasses on. Yeah. Speaking of, you're reading my mind, Abby. You're reading my mind. Yeah, these help a little bit. These help a little bit. I get it. I get it. My dad has... My dad has some health issues, too, and praying for him a lot is... Hard. Thank you, Joey. Yeah, I'm just yeah. My dad has some some health issues, and it just yeah. I get it. I get it. My dad has atrial fib, and he's um. Lately, he's been in an atrial fib a lot, and if he's in it too much, then he'll have a stroke. And so, um, it's not been great. It's not been great, and so it kind of worries me. You know, I just keep praying. So it's kind of hard. Um, you know. So, yeah, he just needs prayer. I mean, I will say we do have we do have a, a small. Uh, praise report the last time he went to the lung doctor the pulmonologist um, they found an aneurysm um, the last time however this past time that he went to the doctor it was all clear all clear everything was was good so as far as his lungs go that's positive now the heart not as much but we're just going to keep praying for his heart um, to, that he won't have atrial fib anymore. And that's why, basically, that's why he passed out and was unconscious and we had to rush him to the emergency room a couple weeks ago and I told you guys. So, thank you, Cheyenne. Yeah, so he, um, just needing prayers. Because it was pretty scary. He passed out. I pray you can stop smoking, Karen. I pray that... Um, that you will just be able to stop smoking. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Captain, for the roses. You can. God, God can. God can help you do that. He can. Um. Yeah. It was pretty scary. My dad's had a lot of heart issues. He's been hospitalized for it a lot. He had a heart attack once. He, he survived. He's had colon cancer. He had a heart attack once. He's had skin cancer many times. Um, yeah, he's been through a lot. He's been through a lot. So, it's kind of like me. He's kind of like me in a lot of, like, our health. I've had a lot of health issues in my life, too. Yeah, he's a fighter for sure, Elizabeth. He's a fighter. Yeah. We both had skin cancer. I mean, he was healed, like, supernaturally from um, from colon cancer. Hi, Paige. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Yeah, um, it was the same time around the same time that I had found out I had this is this was melanoma right here y'all they they said they um I had 10 stitches total five underneath five on top and it was melanoma and um they were able to remove all of it and the same listen to how crazy this is Oh, thank you, Paige. Yeah, but he's, he, so no, it, it is a testimony. It is a testimony. So, um, this was in 2020? No. Was it 2020? It was the year of chaos and horrible things happening. Uh, it wasn't, it was when COVID hit. I was really sick, had to move with my parents because I had endometriosis, PCOS, was hospitalized, found out I had skin cancer, melanoma, and my dad finds out he has colon cancer. So listen to how crazy this is. This is a huge, 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 huge testimony. In the end, it is a testimony. In the beginning, not so much. <laughs> um, my mom finds out my dad has colon cancer. 
within the same hour, I find out that I have melanoma, that this was melanoma. They called it pre-melanoma. They said that there was cancer cells that were multiplying into melanoma, that it was like, you have to get this removed right away. Within one hour, my mom, my poor mother, my poor mother, she's a warrior. She's a, she is just the strongest woman I've ever known in my entire life. I, she really is. She's amazing. She's so strong. My poor mom, I'm laughing now because I'm, because I can, because I was healed and my dad is, is healed too. But my poor mom, I call my mom, I'm like in tears. I'm like, mom, like, mom, I have, I, I, I have cancer. Like I have skin cancer. They told me I have melanoma, you know, they told me I have melanoma, you know, what am I, what am I going to do? Um, and, um, I, I was crying. I was upset. And my poor mom's at the doctor's office. My dad just had a procedure. She says, Stephanie, I can't take this right now. I just found out your dad has colon cancer. And I'm like, this day could just not get any worse. It was within the sa an hour. So all that to say, I go through the procedure. They remove the, they, I, they did 10 total stitches. Um, it, it was, it was a mess. Um, so I had just gotten back from, uh, San Diego. I had been traveling. Um, and my dad had just found out. So listen to how much of a praise report this is. So my uncle, who's a doctor says, he tells me, he tell, told my family, sorry, my cat, don't, don't scratch the chair tells my family that my dad has a 75% chance of living another five years. It's been four years, by the way, that he has a 75% chance that the likelihood they looked at the mass, the size of the cancer, and they said that it was stage uh, C or D. Um, I don't remember like what specific, but I just remember it was like C or D. And basically my uncle was like, this is not looking good. Like, he has a 75% chance of living another five years. So about five years, five to six years, five to seven years was about approximately how, how much time he had left to live. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get married. Like I just, I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm like, I'm gonna lose my dad. Like I gotta get married. I gotta do all these things. I'm like putting on this pressure. I'm like, I gotta experience these things so my dad can be here. Like all these things going through my mind. Like I am freaking out. I am stressing. I was not spiritually where I am today. That was four years ago. I'm very, very, very in a different place spiritually. And honestly, this whole, the whole, everything that happened, like, changed me. It truly changed me. I, I've never been the same since then. Never been the same. Um, so they go into surgery. So we have our whole community of people praying. I mean, pastors, um, Everybody in the area, the churches, I'm talking hundreds of people praying over my dad. We have people come over, lay hands on my dad, pray healing over my dad. Um, I mean, we all gathered in the living room. We just prayed healing over my dad for for the entire process. It was about three weeks in between them finding out that he had the cancer until they were able to do the surgery. About three to four weeks-ish. Um, and I remember that I was supposed to be in my friend's wedding. I couldn't be in my friend's wedding because I had to stay with my dad because he had the surgery. That's how like crazy all of this was. Um, and then I was in a, another friend's wedding and like two weeks later after that, and I had just gotten the procedure done for this. So anyway, so they do the surgery and um, they, they don't know the results right away, but they do the surgery, they were able to remove it. They, they didn't necessarily give the results right away. So I find out one week after this so my my dad gets a phone call and they say they removed the surgery i mean they removed the tumor the tumor's gone the cancer is gone 